Hello everyone! We are back! Hmm... Do you envision a bright future for your young child? Like many of you out there, Yukai and I want our three children to discover their true passion and leverage that into a career full of joy and a sense of fulfillment. So, whether that means they become a ballet dancer or a train conductor or an artist or an astronaut, we want to help our kids discover what their true passions are. Right, Riley? Mm -hmm. But one area that we haven't been making much of an effort on is STEM. You've heard of it before, right? STEM? STEM, STEM. STEM? I don't know the STEM, actually. STEM stands for science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Mina is studying additions and subtractions in school right now, and we watch some documentaries from time to time. But that's the extent of our effort towards exposing our children to STEM. So, how do we get our kids more interested in STEM? One of the people that I really respect is Neil deGrasse Tyson. He's an astrophysicist, and he popularized science through his books, TV shows, podcasts, and YouTube channel. Ah. Ah. Now, he has some great advice for parents on how to get children more interested in science. So, let me share with you what he had to say. According to Neil deGrasse Tyson, kids are already interested in STEM subjects. They're born scientists. From a young age, they're picking up rocks to see what's underneath and picking petals off of flowers. Now you might think that's a bit destructive, but that's what exploration is all about. That's what kids do. So what's the problem? Well, the problem is you. It's us. It's the parents who are the problem. In order to protect the child, parents will restrict the behavior that puts the child's health at risk. And that is to be expected. But when parents do this just to maintain neatness and order in the household, the parent has squashed the child's act of curiosity and creativity. Take these pots and pans, for example. The pots and pans are getting dirty and it creates unpleasant sounds. So, what do you do? You tell the child to stop making such a racket. But doing so has also squashed an ongoing experiment in acoustics. Sorry about that. Oh, you're eating the spoon. Oh, are you mixing? Nice. And you're tasting it a little bit. Uh, it feels cold, right? And you see your reflection? <laughs> What's this? Oh, that looks like cream. Okay. So what's gonna happen when Riley gets a hold of this bottle of cream? And now he's learning all about the taste of the cream. And don't worry, this is uh, safe to put in the mouth. Oh, you're applying some cream on your face. Very nice. Can you put some on me too? Thank you. Wow, that's a lot of cream. Oh my gosh. Now normally, I would run and get a tissue and wipe it all away so that it won't get on the carpet. But as a science experiment, I'm gonna let this one slide. Thank you. Okay, face, okay, face. 
Tissue, please. Tissue, please. Can you give me a tissue? Thank you for the tissue, Riley. Or let's say your child has gotten a hold of some eggs from your bag of groceries. Neil deGrasse Tyson's advice is to go ahead and let the child find out what happens next. When the egg drops, it breaks. Riley, look, what's this? Mm. I'm gonna put this in here. You can touch it if you want, okay? Oh, it feels cold, huh? Look at that, thank you. This is called an egg, Riley. It comes from chicken. Oh, that makes an interesting sound. <gasps> oh my, oh. Whoa. This is the yolk. What do you think, Riley? Look how gooey that looks. Oh, now it's yellow. So this is a physics experiment, which rapidly turned into a biology experiment. See how the yolk is oozing out? Now the child is wondering, how does this gooey yolk become a chicken? <laughs> You crack the egg. If you never let the child play with the egg, you're stifling the opportunity for the child to love learning. And at what cost? This egg costs less than 20 yen, but the child may have gained a love of learning. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, thank you. He's playing with the egg. Now I love this quote. Science is not so much about what you know as it is about the journey to knowing. The journey requires boundless curiosity, which all children have in abundance but so few retain that into adulthood. Parents need to value the inquisitive nature of their young children. Oh, nice. So here are some tips that Neil deGrasse Tyson gives. Number one, don't always answer their questions. Even if you know the answer, say, let's discover the answer together. Why do flowers bloom? Okay, well, let's discover the answer together. According to UCSB Science Line, flowers bloom to attract insects, which then carry pollen from one flower to another and fertilize the growing fruits and seeds. So it blooms to attract insects, and then they carry the pollen to other flowers. Very interesting. Good question, Mina. Number two, visit your local science center. Every prefecture or city will have a science center that you can visit and they are packed full of great science learning opportunities. Number three is to make geeky friends. Social pressures can be strong, but when kids of the same age are interested in the same type of science subjects, it encourages shared enlightenment. Number four, never underestimate the power of pop culture. Not everything has to be science textbooks or lab experiments. TV shows can sustain interest in science fields. And number five, don't assume it's too late. You can take your nine-year-old to a geology expedition, or you can buy a 12-year-old their first telescope. What's important is that anytime you detect that the child is interested in a STEM subject, let them explore it, nurture it. One of my goals for this year is to let my kids visit a new thing every week. 
and if not every week, at least one or two times a month. So that means going on trips, talking to experts, going on a factory tour, visiting museums. I want to let the kids try many different things. And if they like it, great. Let them do more. They'll probably be better at that than anything else that we force them to do. If anything, if Riley grabs a handful of soil, I'm just gonna let him play with it. Okay, Riley, you wanna say bye to the camera? So, I hope you learned something. Let your kids try STEM subjects. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye. Are you making tamagoyaki? Yeah. Remember, I'm riding smashes some eggs. And then I tap the eggs. And my mommy put it in. Mm. And then I'm making it right now. It's so quick to change it to tamagoyaki. So good. Don't burn your hands.